What's up guys, Jake here with Jake's Got Herps, not to be confused with Herpes, Herpes is nasty. And in this video, I got my boa out, uh, Reggie, and I figured I'd just take him out because I was cleaning his enclosure. I filled it up with some uh, some cypress mulch. I thought that would look pretty cool in his enclosure. The only thing I don't like about it is it gets caught in the in the little, um, little tracks for the doors, which is pretty annoying, but uh, it looks pretty nice. And I had him out here just kind of playing with him. And I figured I would you know, upload a video because a lot of the times my videos are aimed towards you know, one specific topic or goal, like, uh, you know, a care video or something like that, you know, talking about something specific. And I rarely make videos of me just just hanging out with my animals because this is really something uh, I've been kind of missing. Uh, I've been at college, as you guys know, so I don't get to come back as much as I'd like to. And I really miss my animals, especially my big boa, Reggie. I really love boas. I don't know what it is about them. I definitely got the boa bug, as uh, if you guys watch Snake Bites, you'll know, uh, you know the reference. But, um, yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, they're just... They're large enough animals to be pretty impressive, but not too large that you you know it's difficult to handle for one person. And they're very personable animals. They seem to really enjoy being out. Although as soon as I'm saying that, Reggie's going back in his cage. Uh, he's definitely checking out the new the new substrate. But um, yeah, my boa seems to, seems to enjoy being handled. Although like I said, he just went right back in his cage on his own. So that's pretty that's pretty funny. He's making me look dumb on uh, on camera. But um, yeah, I'll bring you guys in closer here. I guess. And you guys can see him up close here. His eyes are all red because, uh, or his eyes are glowing because I've got the, the light on. So if you guys are interested in this new color mutation, uh, the red eye, glowing eye boa, it only costs about uh, $1.3 million. So message me if you are if you're interested. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I really love boa constrictors. I don't really know what it is. I think it's a combination of their size because they can get pretty impressive, as you guys can see. They are a pretty large snake, and some of the some of the you know pure bloodline uh, red tail boas, the pure red tails, can get upwards of 12 feet, so they can be a really large, impressive snake. But they're also very calm snake, and they have a very, really addicted personality about them. I don't know what it is, but Reggie himself is, probably has one of the best personalities of a snake I've ever had. He's a very curious animal. He's never attempted to bite me uh, at all. I mean, maybe he's attempted to, I guess, strike when I was feeding him, but obviously he's going for the, the food. Uh, and he's just a very calm snake. And I know a lot of people think that boa constrictors are these sort of intermediate, upper level, you know, snakes for snake keepers. And I definitely think that is a, a misconception. There's definitely a boa out there for everyone. Perhaps not, you know, true Colombian red tail boa, because those can get a little bit larger and sometimes can be a little bit more aggressive. But there are a lot of other smaller boas, uh, boa constrictors, like the Central American boas are pretty small boas. They only get around, I don't know, three, four feet, maybe even five. Uh, at max, so they're a pretty small boa constrictor, and you've got things like hog islands, which are beautiful animals, and there's a lot of different boas for for you to explore. So uh, I think this is definitely one of the animals that I would recommend people to get as a pet because they're just they're readily available, and they're just amazing animals to keep. I really think uh, I really think boas are going to be around forever. I know they've been you know uh, sort of the the base of the hobby. You know, everyone's probably had a boa at some point, but. Uh, I think they're going to be around forever because, like I said, they're just really amazing animals, and I really just love love boas a lot. I think if I ever got into into breeding, you know, as a hobbyist, I'd probably breed boas because uh, I don't know. I just I, I think it would be cool to produce animals that I think would be great pets for people. Like everyone wants to breed really crazy exotic things, but I'd really like to you know get into breeding animals that I think would be good pets for people and that I would enjoy you know giving to people or selling to people rather because um. Just because I, I like to see the animals, you know, have a have a good home and be enjoyed as a pet. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's sort of all over the place, but I just just hanging out with my boa. And this is something I really enjoy doing. It's just hanging out with my animals because it's something I really really have missed lately. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up rating. It definitely helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys later. Peace. And Reggie says peace also.